So, time for the four mile, three and a half furlong version of the Paul Moore's final next. And if it's anywhere near as good as the three mile, five one was, we're in for a bit of a treat. We've got some good old favourites in this and some good national horses at the top. Malon Raider and Fire Memorial, both for Leon Van Rensburg. Lorna for Darren Thompson. Hardly for the national. Joshua Sutherland, Castle Donington, Darren Thompson. Zami Thinkar, Graham Clutterbuck, Nina Zenick, Padraig Hogan. Classic Ben, David Hooley. Tints in Fire or Padraig Hogan. Blue Penny, Martin Leedham. The Banshee Man, Alex Cherry. And Diamonds for Obi Wan. So just 12, which is maybe a surprise given the amount of qualifiers that are away and racing. Maybe the two top weights have scared a few of the others away. But we saw what happened in the National. They both fell, I think, and um, the same could quite easily happen here. And it's a, it's a difficult place to carry top weight anyway, so we'll see what happens as they race down towards the first of the fences. The identical trip to the Grand National, so it's almost like a mini rerun, although not all of these really of course and one or two of the main protagonists from the Grand National are not in it including the winner Stravita Field who possibly didn't even qualify that fight of four at the first hardly for the Nationals gone so Joshua Sutherland's hardly for the National crashes out at the first fence and Josh will probably think that just about sums up his season because he's not had a lot of luck to be fair and still managed to battle back to finish second I'm sure he'll be back firing on all cylinders next season and give Leon a good battle as they get over to third and they're all safely over to third with Nina Zenick in the lead from Stableweight Tints in Fire that was placed in the National so that one's got to be in with a chance then in third Malon Raider for Leon Van Rensburg in the dark blue as they get to the fourth that one was a four I think at the Grand, in the Grand National because Ami Thinker on the inside was third a couple of seasons ago in the Grand National Classic Ben in the purple jacket and then Lorma for Darren Thompson. They skip over that one, then behind that one, Blue Penny who won the Grand National two years ago. With Debanshaman. Now Debanshaman's well worth talking about because Debanshaman's a staple in these races. He was fifth in this year's Grand National, but last year in this race he didn't qualify for it. Let's see them over beaches and then we'll tell you the rest of the Debanshire Man story when we get the chance as they race down towards Beaches Brook. It's Nina Zenick in the lead, Tins in final in second, Lawnmower third, Fire Memorial fourth, Marlon Raider fifth, and then Zami Thinker and Classic Ben and Blue Penny and Castle Donington as they get over Foyne Haven. They're all safely over that one and racing down towards the canal turn with Nina Zenick in the lead. Leading by a good four or five and the leaders had problems in the last race with falls and they're coming to that part of the course now where the fences seem to be causing the problem. It was Valentine's and the one after Valentine's that caused the problem in the last race and in this one they've got to take them twice. Uh, Nina Zenick leads them into Valentine's Brooklyn. Let's see how they get over it this time. And they're all safe over it, with the exception of Malon Raider, who's gone. So Malon Raider's gone. Might well have gone at that one in the Grand National as well. So the top weight is out as they get down to the next. And they're all safely over that one with Nina Zenick in the lead then. And Tins in final second, Lorma third, then Classic Ben. And then Farmer Warrior and Zami Thinkar and Castle Donington, Blue Penny. The Banshee Man and a mistake and a fall at the back for Diamond. So Diamonds is gone now as well. So we've lost three and the back marker the Banshee Man. Let's talk about him again now then because he was fifth in the Grand National this year. He's been around for three or four seasons. I think he might be might have been in it right since the very start. But in this particular race, two seasons ago he won it, and the year before that he came second. Or it may be the other way around. I looked it up earlier on, but I can't remember now. But in the last three years, the Banshee Man has failed to qualify been second and been first and he's here again running off bottom weight just about so got to be worth a look at that one he ran one in the national finished about fifth i think so certainly got to be there or thereabouts at the end as they make their way towards the home straight for the first of two times they're still going to go around again don't forget and we've lost three already including the top weight marlon raider we've also lost hardly for the national who you can tell by his name was bred for this sort of race and we've also lost the bottom weight diamonds, the challenger from across the pond as they take the 13th. And it's Nina Zenick who's in front. Leads by five lengths to stableweight tints in final. Then Blue Penny 
We usually saves our best performances for this track. To that Zami Thinkart as they get over the next. With Castle Dollington and Classic Bent and Lorma. De Bancherman and Fire Memorial. Nina Zenick is going to pass the big screen and come towards the chair in front. Over it they go, they all get over the chair, well they all give the chair a lot of respect and get over it quite comfortably. Take the water now, not have any problems with this one. Uh, Nina Zenick's in front. So they've got to go out and do it all again now, with the exception of those last two fences, the chair and the water, they haven't got to take them again, but the rest of them they have. And that's going to be 14 formidable obstacles for them to take as they'll be getting tighter as well. And Nina Zenik leads by four. Blue Stableweight tints in fire up. Zami Thinkar, Blue Penny, Castle Donington, Classic Ben, Fire Moral, Indy Bancherman, and then Lawnmower. I mean, pretty much now all these, pretty much all of them are going to stay as well because most of them have been around in the National. Nina Zenik in front from Tins in Fire as they get over the 17th Blue Penny a really good jump in third then comes Castle Donington and Classic Ben they get over the 18th all safely over that one this big testing ditch is next and Nina's next lead is down to just a little more than two lengths now Blue Penny was a bit slow over it. Castle Donning to move up on the outside into third. Uh, beginning to bunch a little now. Even the Patrick Hogan pair are getting closer to each other than Nina Zenick into this next one in front. All right, nicely as they come down to the one before beaches with Nina Zenick in the lead and Tintsy in final second. Blue Penny is third and final order is four. Castle Donning is five and then Lorma is six. As they get over that one, then Classic Ben and Debancher and Zami Think are still there on the rail as well. we down to Beaches for the final time then. And Nina Zenix led all the way so far. Continues to lead by two, coming into Beaches Brook for the second time. And they're all safely over that. we down to the Fornhaven fence then, next. And Nina Zenick. Still too clear. Fire Memorial's getting much closer though now. They're really beginning to merge into just one pack now. With Nina Zenick just still hanging on to the lead. Tints in fire being trapped in by Fire Memorial as they come down to the canal turn. Then comes Castle Donington. Blue Penny is after that. Then Zami Thinker and Lorma. Bit of a gap to Classic Ben and Debancher Man as they take the canal. And they're all safely over the canal turn. And now Fire Memorial's come to take it up. There's still a little more than a mile to go. And this one's got a lot of weight. Fire Memorial is not the top weight, but he's a second top weight. And that's nearly as bad as they get over Valentine's OK. This time no fallers at it this time round. As they come down towards the next end. Fire Memorial is in the lead. From Tints in fire in second. Nina Zenit, Castle Donington, Zami Thinkar and Blue Penny as they get over that. Then a bit of a gap to Lorma de Bancherman and Classic Ben. They've only got four more to take then now in this poor Moore's final and Tints in fire has come through now to take the lead from Castle Donington and Fire Memorial. Blue Penny on the outside. Zami Thinkar. Nina Zenick is still there. Law Murray's after that one. De Bancherman is starting to make his move and Classic Ben is at the back. They've got six furlongs to go. They've got three fences still to take. Over the third last they go and it was Castle Donington who landed in front. There's a line of four behind. Zami Thinkar's got nowhere to go. Law Murray's sweeping around the outside. De Bancherman Man's getting closer. Classic Ben is at the back, but no more than six lengths off the lead. They're not going to win for another thriller as they race down towards the second last, and there's not a single horse you rule out as Lawnmower comes through to take it up. Lawnmower takes the lead, coming down towards the second last fence in now. Lawnmower leading by about a length. Lawnmower from Tins in Fire or Castle Donnage and Fire Memorial. Blue Penny de Buncherman coming round the outside. They're past the four pole. They've got two to take. The crowd are cheering them on. It's Lawnmower in front from Tins in Fire in second. Castle Donington and Fire Memorial. De Buncherman is still trying to run on. Zami Thinker and Blue Penny look one pace. Nina Zenix beaten. So is Classic Ben over the second last they go. And Fire Memorial and Tintin Fire on the inside. From Lawnmower on the 
outside. These three are clear of Castle Donington, Blue Penny and Debuncherman as they race down towards the final fence then now. Here's Fire Memorial in the lead. Fire Memorial is a length clear at the final fence. Gets over it nicely. Lawnmower over it in second. Then Castle Donington tints in fire on the inside. Shortly between these four now. Fire Memorial is big weight being chased by the rest of them as they come down towards the elbow. It's Fire Memorial hanging on in the lead. He's still got a furlong to go. Fire Memorial's in front from Castle Donington. Tints in fire all. And then comes Tint, then comes Lorma. But it's Fire Memorial who's hanging on in the lead. Half a furlong to go. Fire Memorial from Lorma. Lorma is starting to cut him down. Fire Memorial's hanging on. Lorma is not going to get there. Fire Memorial wins it. Lorma second. Tints in fire all third. Then Castle Donington, Blue Penny, Debunchin Man. And all the way back to Classic Ben. And another thrilling Paul Moore's final. We're not getting the big fields in these races, but they always managed to throw up a good bit of excitement and fire them all under a big weight as put in a pretty decent performance there. So Fire Memorial is the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Lorma for Darren Thompson second, Tints in Fire for Patrick Hogan third, Castle Donington for Darren Thompson fourth, Blue Penny for Marcelino was fifth and a worthy note for Debanchaman sixth in this. Let's hope that's not the last time we see Debanchaman. Let's hope he comes back for a season at 12 because he's been around right since the start of S07 I think and uh, he still seems to be running his races but Fire Memorial takes it then for Leon Van Rensburg.